All right, so I just want to show off what I'm currently working on. Sorry for my mess. I'm like actively engineering things. Anyways, so Destiny on Xbox One. There's the Xbox. Um, I'm working on this. I have been using, if you can see it, I have been using this N52 that I modded with Cherry Reds. I can pull it off and show you. Cherry Reds underneath, anyways. And I have modded Orb Weavers. If you guys, anyone familiar with my channel, I've got a few mod things, a few mod videos. Anyways, so I'm working on my own gamepad. I designed this PCB, which I've got a box full of them right here. These are just prototype PCBs that I designed and had shipped from China um, for my own gamepad. And right now it's mounted on a block of wood because I haven't designed the enclosure yet. That's next. Um, but uh, 20 keys, these are cherry blues, is what I had laying around. 21 keys if you count the, sp the space bar. Uh, this looks like a joystick, but this is actually a five-way switch. I'm using it as a D-pad, so up, down, left, right, and then push in. And then uh, this is a standard joystick with a select button in the middle. Anyway, so um, right now I've got it running off of a Teensy, which you can see through there. And through to my Zim 4. Boom. It's running through the Zim, through the Zim 4 for my Xbox One. So um, you can try to watch the screen at the same time. I'll just, just, just a quick little demo. Come on. Come on, Destiny. But yeah, the firmware for the Teensy I've written, and I've got it on GitHub. Um, I'm providing that for free. And the goal here, while Destiny is loading, I'll talk about what, what, what my end goal is. The, the goal here is to um, produce my own gamepad and sell them. I do a lot of Razor or Weaver mods. And I'm getting tired of it because uh, it's doable, but it's difficult. The ore weaver is difficult to take apart and put back together, um, and it's really tight. To it's very small amounts of space. Anyway, so I'll show you. All right, um, and then the, the the joystick also. I've got it wired up. So well, let's load up my Titan. So it works. It works. Um, all the code's written. I'm still. I'm. I'm just playing it and using it to make sure that the arrangement of the the this side with the thumb is where I want it. I'm gonna design the enclosure to be lefty and righty, or modular basically, so you can change it between lefty and righty. You'll be able to take these these functions that will be on a module and move it to the left side or the right side. No other gamepad on the market right now will let you do that. They're all righties. Which is lame. That's pretty lame. I think left-hand people should have just as much use out of this as righties. Anyways, it's not that hard to design. So I'm going to try my hand at some 3D modeling for the enclosure in the next few days after I make sure that I've got this designed and featured the way I want it. And then um, I'll get that enclosure designed and um, build the first real few prototypes um, and if interest is high enough, then I will produce them in numbers and sell them. Yeah. Anyways, so that's just, uh, I put this on Imager and on the Zim4 forums, and I, I know that I have a few people on YouTube who kind of follow my mods a little bit that aren't on either one of those things. So I just wanted to put something up for you guys. And uh, yeah, 